everyone, it's day three already. Today's Bible story is David and Goliath. Did you know that Goliath is nine feet and nine inches tall? Today's story is God helps David defeat a giant, David and Goliath, 1 Samuel 17. The Israelites were at war with the Philistines, whose leader was a giant named Goliath. Send one man to fight me, he roared. If he loses, the Israelites will be our slaves forever. The Israelites were terrified. No one could beat Goliath. David's father had sent him to take food to his brothers in the army. And when David heard Goliath's challenge, he said, I will fight him. Everybody laughed. <laughs> you are just a boy, said King Saul, and he is a great warrior. I am only a shepherd, said David. But whenever a lion took a lamb from my father's flock, I chased it and rescued the lamb from its mouth. Since no one else was willing to fight, Saul gave David his sword and shield, but they were too heavy for him. So David took five smooth stones from the river and his trusty slingshot. Come here, boy, Goliath said as he drew his sword. I'll slice you in half and leave your body for the vultures. You come with a sword, David replied but I come with God on my side. David put a stone in his sling. He swung it around and let it fly. The stone struck Goliath on his forehead and the giant fell down dead. All the other Philistines gasped and ran away. Many years later, when David became king, the people remembered his bravery in fighting the giant. Our prayer is, Dear God, help me to be brave. Amen. Welcome back to our Fortress of Good News tour that we continue here this week as part of our Vacation Bible School. And so today's segment of our tour brings us to, well, a few different spaces today. You're probably familiar with this. Of course, I'm standing on the stage in our Fellowship Hall. And we're going to start here, but we're going to take a take a step into a few other spaces as well because, well, I want to talk about the gathering spaces that we have and what we use them for. Of course, I stand here on the stage of the Fellowship Hall and we do all sorts of things in this space. We, of course, up on the stage have Skeddy and Skits. We have uh, Search for the Christ Child and a number of other things that we use the stage for. And our little, little kiddos, they really love this stage to play on. And I love watching our little ones play up on this stage. And then, of course, out here is our entire fellowship hall. If you want to look around and check it out, you know this space very well. We have Skeddy and Skits dinner in here. We have 4th of July pancake breakfast in this space. We have our Alcoholics Anonymous group that meets here every Thursday evening. 
to gather together in support of one another. We have loaves and fishes in this space where people are invited to come and enjoy a free meal. This is very important space used for all kinds of great gatherings here at First Christian Church. I know you guys know it well. Whenever I step into this space, I know good things are happening. But there's more to this space and these gathering areas that I want to show you now. Let's go check out another part just off of the Fellowship Hall. Come on. Hey, sidekicks. Welcome to our Fortress of Good News Food Pantry. This here is the food pantry that we keep on site in our church, available for anybody who comes to us in need of some help, in need of some food and some other items that we keep on hand. If folks come to the church and they need something, we give them a few bagfuls of groceries that will help them out. And so this is something that we keep on hand all the time. You could say it's one of our superpowers that we're always ready to feed those who are hungry. And if you come inside, you can check out some other parts of this outreach center. You see all those winter coats and sweatshirts back there? Well, we certainly don't need those right now here in the middle of the summer, but all of those coats are being collected so that we can give them out this December during our Christmas in-gathering outreach project. So we'll help up to maybe 50 families this December and folks that need a coat, well, they're gonna get a coat so that they are nice and warm and dry during our winter months. So let's go check out some other parts of our Fortress of Good News gathering spaces. Ah, check these out, sidekicks. These are some giant cans of corn and giant cans of ravioli. And as you can see on this table, we got more giant cans of food. These are food items that are used from time to time for our monthly loaves and fishes dinner. Every third Sunday of the month from four to six, they cook up a piping hot homemade meal here at the church. And anybody that wants to come and have a free meal, they're welcome to do so. You might get corn, you might get ravioli, you might get stuffing, you might get burgers and hot dogs and beans and chips and potato salad and cookies and who knows what else. But every third Sunday of the month, we use our superpower of feeding the hungry people in our community. Hey, sidekicks. Welcome to our Heroes of the Bible Fortress Tour that now brings us to the gym, a space that I know many of you are very familiar with. Maybe this actually might be the favorite space of yours in our Fortress of Good News. Some really special things happen in this space and not just the shot I just made, but this is where we have all kinds of great church gatherings. We do all kinds of things. Our pancake breakfast, of course, spills over into this space. We have our Monday, Thursday agape dinner and worship service on Monday, Thursday in this space. Our preschool, the nest uses this space for their little kiddos and to run around and to learn things. And this is a space that we just have a whole lot of fun in. And this is one of my favorite spaces in the Fortress of Good News as well. So, what is set up and going on in here right now is our bulldog bag guests for the summer are using this space for their packing and distribution of bulldog bags summer bulldog box program. And so that's why there's so many tables and set up around and about. Uh, but don't worry, the next time we're able to be together and shoot some hoops, well, it'll be all ready for, for that for you guys to come and enjoy this wonderful and incredible space here at our Heroes of the Bible Fortress of Good News. Let's recap day three's Bible hero, David and Goliath. What were the weapons and armor of David? The answer is, David had a slingshot and five stones, but mostly he had God on his side. What weapons and armor other than God can you rely on in your life? 
Some examples might be your parents, your church leaders, and the Bible. What are some of life's Goliaths that you have faced or may have to face? This could be difficult school classes, bullies, or peer pressure. 